Well, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever your current life situation is. Hello, you too. This is Jeffrey Kite back again with another episode of Kite's Curiosities. Got some good news, hopefully, and we got some bad news. Uh, former Carolina Panther Charles Johnson uh, did some research on Mr. Johnson, found him uh, to be the owner of a flag football group out of uh, Huntersville, North Carolina. It's called the New Age Flag Football uh, Group or Association or League or something, but New Age Flag Football, and found that address uh, for them in Huntersville, North Carolina, that's the corporate office of this New Age flag football group, and put a letter in the mail to him, and uh, apparently he just uh, didn't want to take my letter, so hey, everybody has their likes, dislikes, and Mr. Charles Johnson does not want to answer fan mail at this time, well, that's understandable, so. All right, so this is going into the try again later stack. But this bad boy here came back. Look at this. This is my big envelope here. If y'all have been paying any attention to my recent purchases and videos that I've made, you should know what this is. Uh, it is not postmarked. But I know it is coming from California, and I'm hoping for some goodness inside. So I'm going to keep y'all in suspense as I'm in suspense to see what's in here. Hopefully it's good news. Let's see here. Let's see. Y'all see it? Y'all know what it is? Oh, yes. Woo. Oh, and I got a sticky note. Holy cow. Look at here, folks. This is an autographed issue. From December the 17th, 1979, of Miss Tracy Austin. Tracy Austin, folks, let me just tell y'all, an incredible, an incredible tennis player. She turned pro when she was 14 and was beating champion Tennis players at that age. Um, tremendous skill, tremendous talent, tremendous, tremendous gifts in uh, tennis. And um, at 16 years of age, she was 16 years, nine months old, when she defeated Chris Everett Lloyd to win the U.S. Open Tennis Tournament champ, the, the Ladies U.S. Open Tennis, tennis Tournament Championship uh, in the year 1979. And this is her um, celebrating her victory right here, uh, 16 years old, and defeating one of the top-ranked tennis players of all time. Just amazing. Um, that was in 1979. In 1980, um, she continued to just take the world by storm. Her and her brother won um, the Wimbledon Mixed Doubles Championship. That further added to her legacy, her, her and her brother John. And they were the first brother and sister 
um, or sibling group to win a doubles championship in the history of tennis. Um, later on that year, or well, in April of 1980, she was ranked number one, held that position for about two weeks and got bumped down. And then later on, after the Wimbledon title in July and on into the summer, going into October, she became the number one tennis player again in 1980 and held that spot for you know a couple more weeks and then got bumped back down. Um, 1981 was another special year for her. She won her second U.S. Open championship. And what's interesting, in the year 1979 and 1981, she was voted um, the Sporting News Female Athlete of the Year. And um, just a tremendous, tremendous player. Great tennis player. Um, voted into the Tennis Hall of Fame in 1992. The youngest ever inductee into the Tennis Hall of Fame. And this U.S. Open title, when 16 years and nine months old, she's the youngest um, female champion in history of the U.S. Open. So just... Wonderful, wonderful career for Miss Tracy Austin. I am thrilled to get this back. Some of you guys remember, this is the very Sports Illustrated that I purchased at the um, at the uh, Sports Memorabilia show that we had here in the Atlanta metro area at the Cobb, uh, Cobb County Civic Center in Marietta, Georgia. Uh, if you hadn't had a chance to look at that video, go ahead and look through that, and uh, you'll see you'll see this uh, Sports Illustrated in here. So I I, I will say it, Yowie, <laughs> Miss Tracy Austin, I love this, and she sent a sticky note with it. Let's check out this sticky note. This was attached to it. Let's see what it says. It says Jeffrey, you clearly did your research. I'm impressed. Best wishes, Tracy Austin. Man, I, I tell you, I'm going to count this as a two of one success because uh, I got this cool sticky note back. Amazing, amazing return. Just so happy to add this to my collection. Well, folks, as always, let's put this back down here. As always, folks, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Till next time, y'all take care. Now, have a good one. Bye.